go into all the details here. I've had a look good on the beach. I mean, it's a losing battle, surely. I mean, the wind, the salt in the air, the sun, you know. I mean, you, you, there's nothing much you can do, is there? It's a tough time, but there's a lot you can do, and I'll show you some of it here. Take it away. The fundamental thing when you go on holiday is, of course, sun cream. They say that sun is responsible for 99% of our wrinkles. Um, so whatever you do, don't forget your sunblock. Now, I've got some here. This is a Nivea sun protection factor eight. This is quite a high protection factor. It means that you can stay in the sun eight times as long as you could with no protection at all. Now, both this one and this one here, Aura, they contain insect repellent. So you can put them on and be rest assured you're not going to get bitten to death by the midges, by the pool. Um, the trick to travelling light is to take products which do more than one function. And I've got here some hair care. Now, obviously hair doesn't burn in the same way that skin burns, but it can get very dry and very brittle with the ultraviolet rays. This is an Ambre Solaire hair protection gel. It conditions the hair and it has sunscreens as well as being a styling product. We've also got here a Kerastase Solaire hairspray. Uh, it's a pump action hairspray. So it's not an aerosol, doesn't have any CFCs, which is good news. Also for the hair, I've got here Paul Mitchell. It's called The Conditioner. It's a conditioner which you leave in the hair. Um, it's also, it's got a very natty formula. It's, uh, you can use it as a cleanser, you can use it as a moisturiser. And you better watch out because men can also use it as a shaving cream. So the chances are you your man it. will run <laughs> off with it. Great. Uh, right, so you've been in the sun. Out of the sun, you need to continue the care. I've got here a Pittsburgh shower gel. This works as a shampoo as well as an all-over body wash. It also contains ingredients to prolong the length of your tan and skin soothers, just in case you have overdone it a bit. And then lastly, don't pack a separate perfume and a body cream. Perfume doesn't really sit too well in the sun. It's got too many irritating ingredients in it and can bring you out in a rash. I've got Oscar de la Renta. It's an Esprit de Parfum body cream. And as well as scenting the skin and moisturising it, it also contains small particles of gold, which will just give you an extra bronze glow. Right, that's the body. Now for the face. And I come to Debbie, our lovely bronzed model, here basking in the Liverpool sunshine. We don't really need much makeup when we're on the beach. Now, I've got these Body Shop bronzing balls. And I, if I roll the brush over like so, it picks up some of the powder and then I can just put that over Debbie's cheekbones and brow bones. This will also give the illusion of a tan and means that you don't need to spend so much time out in the damaging sun's rays. You can also pick up the balls individually and use them as an eyeshadow. So that's the face. Mascara, of course, is essential. I think it's the one thing none of us could do without. This one's from Miss Selfridge. It's completely waterproof and it has on one side of it a mirror so you can apply anywhere, even on your surfboard. And I just stroke that onto Debbie's lashes. And the other way, if you look up slightly. Lovely. And lastly, lips. Now, again, lips need some sun protection because they're very vulnerable. It's your thinnest area of skin on the body. I've got here a Clinique lip pencil, which has got sun factors in it. A pencil also works rather better than a lipstick or a lip gloss because it doesn't smear or smudge. It tends not to melt either in the heat. So there we are. If you rub your lips together for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Et voila. Our beach beauty. Let me give you my hat to finish off the look. <laughs> Terrific. Let's, I have to tell you, you've performed the miraculous there because you haven't got a speck of sand in any of the products either. Oh, well. <laughs> Mind you, we weren't on a real beach, although I, I think our props guys have done a pretty good job creating one here. Right, we're going to take a very short break, after which it's time for the phone-in on health and beauty. And, <laughs> and the lobster will not be taking part. Oh, we've got such a bunch of wags with our floor crew here. Um, but Lizelle will be joining us with another expert who, because of that, I've forgotten her name. Right, we'll see you, Sol Lobster, in about two minutes' time after this break with the phone-in. See you soon.